Have you ever wondered why overloading of electric circuits happen? Compare an electric circuit to a man pushing a table. When you push a table, you need to exert greater force than the table for it to be able to move. But what will happen if you exert too much force? It will cause the table to break. That is also applicable to electric circuits. When the voltage given to a load is too much, it will cause the load to break. In an atom, electrons are the ones in orbit around the nucleus with the neutrons and protons. Each atom has equal protons and electrons. As these electrons orbit the nucleus, the valence electrons get transferred to another atom, which makes them gain or lose electrons. In the transferring process, like charged particles repel, while particles of different charges attract as stated in Coulomb's law. When this happens, neutral objects become charged and are called ions. These end products can either be positively charged ions or negatively charged ions, which create energy. Matter is made up of atoms, so atoms are literally every single thing around us. For this reason, the transferring of valence electrons creates a cycle called electric current that is measured in amperes by a meter. Oh, have you thought why a battery is needed when there are already charged particles in electric circuits? Well, there is already energy in these charged particles, but it needs a little push to create an electric current. Let's say dry or wet cells contain a conducting medium called electrolyte which can transform to electrical energy. Then this electrical energy moves the charged particles in a circuit for electric current to take place. Hence, voltage provides the energy that moves the charges in the circuit through a conducting loop enabling them to do work such as illuminating light by a light bulb and is measured in volts by a voltmeter. We have an electric circuit here which has a dry cell and a light bulb. Let's add another dry cell. Whoa! The light bulb lit brighter. Therefore, as the voltage increases, the current also increases. What if we add another 2.5 volt light bulb to the circuit? Oh no! The light bulbs decrease its production of light. We just encountered another factor in electric circuits. Resistance. Resistance is a measure of the opposition of the current flow in an electrical circuit. Resistance is measured in ohms by a meter.